And our next guest has recently made history as the first double amputee actress to hit the Broadway stage. Katie Sullivan playing the role of Ani, a character who loses both her lower legs in the latest production of Cost of Living, a Pulitzer Prize winning play. Katie, thank you so much for joining us in the studio today. Thank you for having me. Definitely. And this is such a historical moment. Can you tell us a little bit about how it feels? I mean, I think it's the dream of any theater kid that grows up, uh, you know, wanting to uh, make it to Broadway. I think it's it's an experience that I'm just trying to stay present and enjoy every minute of. Um, and and uh, and it's just been such an honor to play this character. I've I've played Ani on and off for almost six years now, so um, she's like visiting an old friend at this point. <laughs> an incredible feat indeed. And you bring a different perspective uh, to this role. You not only um, are a double amputee yourself, and so that you understand the some of the adversities that this character goes through in real life. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about what this kind of representation, seeing this kind of representation on the Broadway stage means to you? I mean, I think it, it makes it makes a huge difference for the disabled community at large. I grew up wanting to be an actor, but I had no one to point to and say, oh, I can do this. There's somebody that has done this before. So being someone who's kind of breaking ground and and breaking barriers is um, humbling. It's it's a you know, it's it's a big responsibility to bear. But I'm um, I just hope that it means that we, it will lead to more. You know, there are more performers with disabilities out there that are worthy of being on the Broadway stage as well. Definitely. Can you tell us a little bit about the unexpected challenges that you have faced? I mean, I think when you um, aren't sort of the predictable leading lady of something, when you are not, um, when you don't fit in sort of this perfect little box, it can be challenging. But I do feel like we're at this tipping point um, where people want to see authenticity. They want to see stories told by people who have that sort of lived experience in some ways. And I think having the opportunity to do that at this level um, is gonna make a huge impact, which is really exciting. Definitely. It's also exciting that you're making your debut on the Broadway stage. Can you tell us any uh, actresses that you've drawn inspiration from? Oh, my goodness. I mean, there are so many. Obviously, like the the biggies, like Meryl Streep and um, Jodie Foster and um, growing up. I just, I've always loved actresses um, that have a strength about them, um, that carry themselves in a way that is um, confident. And, and I've always loved to kind of lean into, to, Ani's a pretty tough character. Character. So I like to kind of lean into that that sort of feminine strength energy. Definitely. And you are a four-time U.S. champion in the Olympics. What inspired you to compete in the Paralympics? Honestly, it was a, a chapter in my life that I wasn't really expecting to ever have. Um, I was given the opportunity to try running blades at the age of 25. And I had, I'm a kid. I was a kid who was born without legs, so I'd never run before. So it, it really just opened this whole new world to me of um, competition and uh, traveling the world representing the United States um, was not something I ever saw myself doing, but it was an incredible, um, amazing experience. And I'm, you know, I'm honored to have represented the United States. Well, you are incredibly accomplished. <laughs> You're an actress, an athlete. What's next? What else do you want to do? I just think, I mean, at this point, um, you know, people are people are talking to me about writing a book. I'm just like, I'm like, I don't know if I'm quite there yet. If I've I've maxed out the the chapters, um, but I, so that's kind of in my mind a little bit, maybe that. But I just, you know, I'm an actor at heart, so I think it's just what what do I get to who do I get to play next? Definitely. If you do write that book, we will be right here, ready for that story. <laughs> I will Katie, let you know. <laughs> thank you so much for joining us in the studio. Uh, Cost of Living is out on Broadway in New York City until November 6th. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.